Hello everybody, my name is Erica. Today I want to read you The World's Biggest Fart by Rafael Ordonez and Laura Dufay. The elephant sat on the riverbank. His feet sank into the mud and he felt cool and refreshed. He closed his eyes with pleasure and he drank some water slowly with his trunk. Ah, it's great here. It's so quiet and peaceful. All of a sudden, the elephant heard a funny noise. He looked at the river and he saw a great big bubble burst through the surface and explode into a smelly fart. Blurp. The huge fart had come from a huge hippo that suddenly poked his head above the water. The elephant thought the hippo was a bit gross, even though the underwater fart was pretty funny. Actually, the elephant's gigantic belly had been hurting a little, so he looked at the hippo and let out a giant fart of his own that sounded like a clap of thunder. Prong! The two large animals laughed for a long while without saying a single word until a giraffe appeared. Without looking at them, she lowered her head to drink from the water. As her head went down, her butt went up. And of course, she let out a fart. It was not particularly loud, but it was very, very long. <laughs> Just then, a playful monkey hanging upside down called out between hoots of laughter. <laughs> what an assortment of farts! <laughs> You're like the wind section of an orchestra! <laughs> the giraffe blushed. I have a great idea, the monkey continued. We could hold a farting contest. The three animals just stood and stared at him, but then they heard the gruff voice of the crocodile. Very well, I'll be the judge. The monkey disappeared into the trees yelling, farting contest tomorrow at the riverbank at noon. There's going to be a competition, a farting competition. Within minutes, all the jungle animals knew about the contest. The next day, some animals were already hanging around the river before noon. Pretty soon, the monkey began to shout, it's midday, it's midday, it's time to start, it's time to fart. The crocodile glided to the bank and announced, let the contest begin. The rhinoceros took his position in the center of all the other animals and without a word, let out a loud fart. It wasn't an explosion, but you could tell <clears throat> it was a big, big, big fart, as big as the rhino himself. Brawr! All the animals cheered wildly and the rhino was very proud. Can you help me cheer? Yay! In the river, the hippo squinted his eyes, wriggled his ears, and fired an underwater bomb. A gigantic bubble burst behind him. Blurp! The hippo grinned with delight as, at the enthusiastic applause. Yay! Then the zebra took center stage and said, <clears throat> I hope you all can see that I'm smaller than the other contestants. Please don't compare my efforts to the rhinos. I'm sure you'll appreciate how refined my work is. And with a squeeze, she issued a series of small but perfectly formed farts, like firecrackers at a fireworks display. <laughs> Yay! 
After great applause for the zebra, it was Gazelle's turn. She was a little nervous when she saw the leopard watching, smiling, licking his whiskers. The poor gazelle couldn't bear it anymore, and she popped out a tiny little nugget of poop. Plop. Disqualified, said the crocodile. This is a farting contest. Silence descended as the gorilla started thumping his chest. With all the animals eagerly watching, he turned slowly and he let out a small, barely audible fart. No one applauded. A small hedgehog said, he thinks he's such a scary gorilla, but he farts more like a chinchilla. <laughs> Everyone burst out laughing. <laughs> the gorilla was mortified and left in a hurry. At that moment, the lion turned up, pushing the lioness forward. No, no, no way, she protested. You might be the king of the jungle, but you can't ask me to do this. It's enough that I hunt and feed and look after all the little ones. So if you want to win this dumb competition, go ahead and fart your own fart. The elephant used this opportunity to grab the limelight. He pulled his belly in and he let out a thunderous, resounding, monstrous bottom burp, a real gem of a fart that caused a tremendous uproar. Prom! Yay! When the applause died down, the crocodile closed his eyes. Mm. Then he opened them, he said, after intense and deep reflection, the jury has decided that. But he couldn't finish. He was interrupted by an awesome noise, like the sound of a cannon booming across the skies, like the earth quaking and the waterfalls crashing. The biggest, the most powerful and terrifying fart ever heard in the entire world. Trump! All the animals were astonished. They turned toward where the incredible sound had come from. The rhino looked in the bushes and found the source of the most enormous fart that anyone had ever heard. There in the bushes was a little mouse rubbing his belly. Was it you who just farted? asked the crocodile. You? Was it you? Was it you? The lion, gazelle, rhino, giraffe, and monkey all repeated in disbelief. No way! exclaimed all the animals. The poor little mouse was very embarrassed and began to shake. What did it matter to all of them if he had farted or not? But as they all kept on asking and insisting, was it you? Did you fart? Demanding a reply, he couldn't take it anymore, and he yelled as loudly as he could in his little rodent voice, yes, yes, it was me, okay? It was me who farted. Sometimes it's the only way to fix a real sore tummy. The hippopotamus exclaimed, such a tiny thing, and he farts like a king. And all the animals cheered and applauded for the little mouse king. Yay! And that's the end. It's called The World's Biggest Fart by Rafael Ordonez and Laura Dufay. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.